Now we've set up our Planet app, um, it's time to add some content. Now the first thing I would like to do is create a menu page. Um, so a main menu where um, the users of the app can choose between a number of different options. Now at the moment, when you create, when you set up your app, it comes up with this screen here, which is basically a standard screen. And this screen is associated with this tab down here. So the first thing we need to do is click on the tab, tab name, and it'll come up with edit. So I'm going to change the name and call it menu. And what I need to do is change the action associated with that tab, which we've now called menu. So I'm click action, and it's got a standard screen at the moment, so I'm going to go, go change action and choose icon screen. And then I can click save. Fantastic. So here we go. So we've got one icon here already. Now, I would like the first option in my menu to be um, about Earth, so a section about Earth. So if I click on the icon, click Edit, and I'm going to name it Earth. So what I can do as well is add an icon to, um, to this menu option. So as before, you could go to uh, Icon Archive, search for Earth, find um, the, the best one, save that to your computer, and then you can upload it here. Um, so I am going to browse, because I've already got an image, and it is here. So I'm going to click on the globe icon, click Select, and I'm good to go. So I can choose the action. At the moment, there is no action associated with this. So um, I'm going to change the action, and I'm going to choose just a standard screen. Click Save. Fantastic. So here we go. So this is an example of a standard screen with no content, which we'll add that later. So I'm going to click back, and I'm going to add another item. Uh, this one is going to be on Saturn. So there we go. Again, you can choose to go to Icon Archive and find uh, the, the appropriate icon and, and save it and upload it, but I've actually already saved it, and it is here. There we go. It's important to remember that the icons you, you find in Icon Archive are not yours, and they're not always free. So if you wanted to... Um, put your app onto the App Store or Google Play or use it for any commercial uses, you would need to get permission from the owners of, of these icons. This is important for you to remember. Again, if I click Action, there is no action associated with this menu option. So I'm going to click Change Action and choose Standard Icon, st sorry, Standard Screen and click Save. And there we go, there's a standard screen. Let's click back again and we have two options and of course you can go ahead and you can create more than that but we're just going to stick with two for the time being for the purposes of this tutorial.